first it wouldn't make any difference. But it did, though, it did. So you figured on giving up the baby, giving him away, is that it? I can't tell you how many times I worked it out in my mind, day after day, I almost went crazy with it. Walter, the baby, which one? <laughs> I mean, decide it, Walter. Don't you think it's fair? Don't you? Well, it's your decision, ma'am. It's gonna have to be up to you. I don't know how, Tally. Won't you help me, please? Help me tell Walter. All right, if you like. Such a terrible thing. When you make a choice. When you have to hurt someone, you have to choose between the two of them. One of them has to be hurt. Ma'am? My husband, you're my baby. Which one? <laughs> a.m. At Mrs. Lewis's request, Frank and I stayed on at the hotel room until her husband, Army Captain Walter Lewis, returned. He was a tall man in his late 30s, dark eyes, tan complexion. Mrs. Lewis was waiting in the adjoining room. It wasn't easy, but as best we could, Frank and I briefed the husband on what had happened. His first reaction was fairly normal. He took it pretty hard. We kept on talking to him. After a while, he calmed down. We laid out the whole story for him again. Are you sure it was my wife? Turned the baby over to the police, is that it? She gave the baby up? Yes, sir. She figured it was the only thing she could do. Kind of hard to figure, isn't it? What's the answer? What am I supposed to do? Well, I know it's none of our business, Captain, but I think you might try looking at it from your wife's point of view. What do you mean? Well, it's pretty obvious she's still in love with you. I think she's shown you that. Yeah. Well, she was in a jam. It was a big choice for her to make. She knew she was wrong. She made a mistake. She was ready to pay for it. It was either you or the baby. She knew that. She decided to give up the baby. Where's Marge now, my wife? In the next room. I want to see her. Well, maybe if you'd wait just a little while. No, it's all right. I just want to tell her something. Marge? Marge, come out here. I want to talk to you. Can I say, Walter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There isn't anything else I can say. You don't have to say anything, Marge. You can do what you want. I won't blame you. You've got a right to do anything. I just want to tell you, Walter. I love you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't blame you. Anything you do, I won't blame you. It's gonna be all right. Nothing to cry about here. Everything will be all right. Walter. Walter. Try and take it easy, dear. It was a mistake. I made my share of it. It'll all work out. Officer? Yes, sir? I'd like to ask a favor. You got a car downstairs? Yes, sir, we do. I wonder if you'd mind dropping us by the hospital. I'd like to see my son.
On August 15th, a meeting was held in the district attorney's office, city and county of Los Angeles, state of California. In a moment, the results of that meeting. In the interests of justice, it was decided that no criminal complaint be filed against the suspect. 